Hey everybody, Cam's Campbell here with a book review. I finished this this morning, Umberto Eco, Foucault's Pendulum. And I recorded some thoughts on my phone as I just finished it while I was in the afterglow. So I'm going to cut straight to that. But before I go, I'm recording on a different preamp right now. So for those kind souls out there who let me know my audio is a wee bit squiffy. If you're watching this, is it alright now? I can't hear the, the high frequencies. So that's why I wasn't aware that there were issues. And all you young viewers out there with young ears picking up on high frequencies. Yeah, so thanks for pointing it out. And if it's better, let me know. Okay, over to earlier cams on the sofa with Willow the Cat. I just finished Foucault's Pendulum. It's just after seven. Peaceful, quiet house. And the last words of the book had me tearing up, actually. And now I'm left with that feeling of peace, serenity. Just me and Willow. She sits and purrs on my lap. <laughs> it's the second time I've read this book. And I almost didn't finish it the first time. The only recollection I have of reading it is sitting in the dentist's waiting room in Luxembourg. My wife bought me this as a birthday present. I think it was my 32nd birthday. I'll put a picture up of me sitting in bed with my presents and this amongst my presents. And I remember sitting in the dentist's waiting room reading it. And that's all. Right. I'm going to cut it. I was just editing and I was boring myself, so I don't need to put that out. You don't need to see it. I think recording at 7am without having had coffee in the dark. It's probably not the best idea. Neither is recording with a migraine, which is what's going on today and yesterday. But I want to get this out so that I can, well, move on with my videos. So... I'm going to be busy in the next few days, so I want to get this done today. So what I'll do is I'll put out the intro, I'll give you some cat content, and then I'll record the bit that I did after swimming when I got home. So hope oh, you enjoy it. Here we go. So after I recorded that, I went swimming, and the book stayed in my mind as I drove to the swimming pool. And as I swam, it was still there. And I've since read a couple of reviews over on Goodreads and yeah, the, the book, if anything, has gone even higher in my estimation. That afterglow feeling of just having finished it. I'm going to read you the last line, right? It's not a spoiler. It's not going to spoil anything. It's just an indication of what I was feeling. So I might as well stay here, wait, and look at the hill. It's so beautiful. Now, without context, that's not going to mean a great deal to you. But what it reminded me of, have any of you seen the Thin Red Line movie about American soldiers over in, what is it, Guam, I think? And it has a certain vibe to it. I absolutely adore that film. And this book had the same kind of vibe you know, as we got to the end of it. And then the, the way it ends just had me feeling that kind of connection, you know. And that's ultimately what the book is about. It's about connection. I think the characters are looking to create a story. It does mention in here that there's a void and voids have to be filled. And I think that's kind of what it's about. It's that 
without meaning and purpose in your life, there's a void. Now that void can be filled with religion, it can be filled with love, relationships, family, all kinds of ways. And I think for the characters at the time when they got together and they came up with this idea of bringing together all of these esoteric texts, that they were looking to create something and and fill the void. And the guy, the main character, Belbo, who was really the kind of instigator of this whole idea, he he's the one who we get some details of his past about. So we get an inkling into why there's something missing. And it feels like he's trying to create something to fill the void. That's just the impression I get. And he's using his creativity to do that, which is kind of what I'm doing here. I'm not saying I've got a void, but I feel connected when I create, when I explore my thoughts without really much idea of where I'm going to go. Connecting to source, to higher power, and allowing that to come through. And then I get to learn what my thoughts are. <laughs> You know, I didn't take many notes, I didn't underline very much, I didn't highlight very much. Um, perhaps I'll be a third read of this book in my future. Who knows? But yeah, as I said at the end of the sofa section, highly recommend this book. It's worth persevering. It's definitely worth persevering. So, that's me, Foucault's Pendulum, Umberto Echo, five stars. See you later.